Well, let's see if the ash catapults will on. Let me knock on the door. Hold on. Yeah, what is it? Go away. Oh, it sounds like he's in a bad mood. Here, let me go in there and check on him, okay? Hey, now get out. Come on, you got company. We're here. Come on. All right, come on. All right, come on in. <laughs> I guess I'm... Oh, look at this mess you guys made. Let me just take this up. Now. Is... Looky there. Is uh, Axe Catapult, my daughter's here with us, so she's going to help us. This was a uh, piece that she presented to me, and we're going to make a tomahawk. It's an old uh, hoe head. And uh, first thing we got to do is remove this piece here. So we're going to cut it here, and then we'll go from there. We'll let you let you see what goes on. So we go in the main body of the shop here. And let me see. I think we're in, in frame here. So I think what we'll do, Aaron, let's see, we're going to have this side up. You're going to need your earplugs, which I have some nice new ones there. They're just a little bit dusty. Show you, and then you can get a little whirl. You gotta have a pair of gloves if you're a little bit taken back. That's all right, it's kind of noisy. An angle grinder. Okay, now we're going to see what happens here, folks. We'll try to get it by one piece here. See if we can get it out of there. Not sure yet. Exactly what we got. We are we are through. I'm pretty sure. Let me get a, a, a chisel. Let me put it on the cutoff over here. And let's just see uh, if there's something else we can do here and crack that off. You always want to use a copper hammer. That way it won't damage your damage. Let me try to go through there. I think that'll get it. Once we get it bent, it'll, they'll hook around, see? Mm -hmm. So I think they'll come out now. Uh, I'll probably have to bend them more this way. Yeah, there we go. That one, that one teetered over and it actually broke. So got some nice little pieces we can save for anything that might come up that might call for something like that. And we are on the road to success, folks. Thanks to my lovely assistant here. You can take that off if you want. <laughs> Just get a shot. She's ready for surgery. There we See go. how lovely I am? You are beautiful. All, all beautiful, inside and out. There you go. Nice. You'll wrap around handle. I don't know. It's up to Ms. X Catapult here uh, how she fashions this. But it's going to be a beautiful piece, I guarantee you. Uh, when we get it done. So we got to get it flattened out, so that means we got to heat up red. Uh, like I say, the kiln's not going to work. Uh, we're just going to use two torches, which is a matter of just getting it red, and then we're going to hammer it down, and then uh, we'll go for the handle. That's all we got to do, and of course, we'll get this polished up. You gotta go fast because we can't. Just a little bit. I think that'll be all right. I actually got it inverted just a little bit, slightly. Still sounds like it's got plenty of temper in it. We'll see how hard it is after we get it. Uh, so we'll let that cool off. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, really quite flat now. Yeah, it's good and flat. Uh, what kind of handle we want? Let's go through. The, do you like walnut, Aaron? I don't know that I can distinguish. But I mean, 
walnut is a dark wood. Sure. And then I've got ash. Oh, cool. This is ash for long handles. Uh, the walnut is absolutely oh, is stunning. Oh, uh, this, for some reason, was really dark. That's walnut. Cool. Uh, I think that'll be long enough. That's yeah, about that 14 inches. Aaron's going to split with the ads, okay? Let me get something to hold it for you, Aaron. And uh, if she's going to give a shot at it, I'll and just hold it with Hopefully not this. injure myself. No, she won't injure herself. All you got to do is just, yeah, we're going to try to split this off about right here. Right here? Yeah, if you can. Whack it? Yeah, give it a whack. Okay, well, why, you want to go ahead and drive it through with a hammer. Go ahead and hold it. Okay. Uh, did I do good? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, you did good. Good hit. Uh, here's the hammer. Just go ahead and drive the. Cool. Split the, it uh, down. Yeah, just go ahead and split Use this it. as a wedge. It's just a wedge. Yeah, just basically. give it a little tap. This is uh, something I dug up. Okay, now just pry it. Pry it up. It should split. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's might beautiful not be big inside. In, yeah, it's beautiful wood. Uh, let's just see what we got here. Yeah, let me see what we can come up with. We'll go ahead and run it through the table saw and trim it up. Just a tad. I guess it's all right. So we just kind of round it off. Another thing I could do is maybe go with a weld a clamp around that. I'm just thinking, what do you think about going sideways? <laughs> I don't know. Slot here and we'll see. Can we use those pieces that came off of it? Use what? The pieces uh, that came off well, that's the thought. I'm glad you said that. There's one, yeah, I feel like it's probably not. The other one I think went on the ground. Yeah, I'll use the magnet. That's what we're saying. If you drop something you're non magnetic, you can never find it. Fancy. Uh, this is not what you would call a uh, tomahawk's going to hold up real well if you're going to throw it a lot. I think we got it bottomed out there. That looks great. Okay. That. So that gives us some idea. We'll go ahead and, and uh, let me see. That does cover those holes. And we'll go ahead and have to do a little work on it before we fasten it. Let me see here. Let me go back this way. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, we can put that band through there, couldn't we? Both of them all the way around. Yeah, if we can find them. Um, that would look pretty cool, I think. That would be cool. Well, it would be cool to use What did I do with the one we already ha had? Um, I probably I... got some that will work. Here's one. So look yeah, at that. Okay, See, that sucker will pop. Look, that will pop right in there, Aaron. That, that will be cool. Yeah. See, these so are the kind cool. of stuff that makes it exciting is when you figure something out. The other one, we will need that magnet. Yeah. It's, let me see, we can thin this and go. You think we can go into the other then? Right, the thing so is one then can how do you the attach? Other, weld it. Just weld it down, yeah. Yeah. I like it. I it's mean, very it's cool. something different. So let's see. And again, see. it's from the original thing. Right, it's from the original. So, so let's go ahead and take this out. If we can get it out. Well, it'll go out this way. Let's uh, get the, the hammer. hammer. There you go. Uh, you want to drop through there and you see it good enough? Yeah, I can see. Cool. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's fireworks. Mm. A welding revolutionized building. That's the key. Mm. Back in the old days, they had to heat all those rivets up. But I got to make it a little wider. Mm. 
Now Aaron gets to try this next when we get ready to do the handle. Okay, so we've got it widened out there, so let's get it in a shot here. Not real fancy, but it's going to be covered up. So we'll go ahead and put it on the grinder just to smooth it out. I don't think it's real hot yet. There, see, there's the bolt. You see how it'll run, it'll run off the table and get in your shoe. So, so we'll go ahead and uh, just grind that down smooth. Oh, I put the welder on. I just yeah, go ahead and turn it just a little bit now pull. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, and she's trying to get her basic shape. And mainly we probably just do this end, Aaron. That way we'll get it. We can work on that later. But okay. if you want to go ahead and get the basic shape. So you got that rounded off. So go ahead and loosen your vise. Okay. And don't let thing fall on your foot. Yeah. And just turn around and cut this edge down, smooth it round. Either one of these edges. Uh, yeah, I don't know when we can get it to stay in there. Go ahead and see if it'll stay like that. It might, yeah. Go ahead and you can go ahead and trim that back. We we'll probably make more like a. I was thinking like a pole axe. Uh, with, I like throwing a pole axe myself. Tomahawk. How much is this, should I try to take off? That, that's okay for now. Let's just go ahead and get this shaped the way that we need it for the other. Basically, just trying to take off the sharp corners, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was mainly demonstrating the tool. It's fun. Trucks. We'll go ahead and do the rasp. The rasp will take it down. Now let's. Uh, let me see. I can't tell what you got there yet. Let me get a look at it. That's about about right in. Let's go take some. Take some of that off. Take some more off. Okay. Off here. Okay. Let me see what kind of shape it's got. Okay, yeah, that's definitely going to come off. We'll go ahead. More off put, that yeah, side. We're going to put you on the rasp, and you'll like that. you got gloves, right? Mm -hmm. so, okay, let's try this angle here. And you're going to go like this. Okay. With these yeah, like these a, were given to me by a farrier. It's like a nail file. Yeah, they, they weren't sharp enough for him, but they're plenty sharp for what we're doing. And what you want to do is just like this. Down, and we don't worry about splinters right now. Yeah. And it'll okay. take it down fast. So, okay. Let me just move over here. And I'm trying not to get this side at all, right? Yeah, yeah you just want to kind of get this about the same. Okay. Kind of thin that out. See, when you do this, you'll be in high speed. Should I do this like yeah, this? Yeah, you way? gotta go the right way. What I do is go up and like get it's a little bit of white there in there. <laughs> Try to go ahead and smooth this off a little bit. With this thing? Yeah. The rasp? Yeah. I'm proud to be able to introduce my craft to my daughter. We didn't do a whole lot of stuff like this, even though she helped me build this barn back when she was 10 years old. She did really well. She drove some pretty big nails, I remember. <laughs> Uh, I think we you, did you help set the trusses or not? Do you remember? I don't. The well, Regals came over and helped me set the yeah, trusses. Yeah, I remember. I'll, I've I've seen pictures, but I don't have, I don't remember it too vividly. That's crazy. That was like a big chunk of wood a few minutes ago. Yeah. Does it look even yet? Um, pretty even, honestly. Yeah. We really lost some of that. I was pretty. Good. Good. Yeah, that side, we'll go ahead and flip it over. I think we're ready to, uh, yeah, do the other side. Yeah, it's got it needs some trimming there. See that black? Good there. Now go ahead and sand that, and we'll be ready, I think, to put the steel on. Yeah. This is what we got here. 
Okay. So I think I barely have been like this. I've never done it. It looks so cool already. Like, like look at it. Yeah, that lined up perfect. Yeah. That all have to be welded shut. So does your audience know where this came from? Uh, this, I think I mentioned you gave me this hoe head. Right? Yeah, but so we but found, found it. We, uh, my husband and I um, were tearing down two old sheds in our yard in my house in Goshen, Indiana. And I found this hoe head and obviously I thought of my dad. So I gave it to him about a month, three weeks ago. Yeah. So now I'm here visiting and now we're making it into a... Tommy Hawk. To a homotalk. Homo homo <laughs> uh, it looks so cool. Let's get a piece of chalk. Just chalk? Find, yeah, I need to mark this where we're going Where's to bend chalk? it. Uh, I have a little piece of side is uh, how we're going to bend it. So it's going to go through the hole about here. So we'll go ahead and heat yeah. this. We'll put it in a vice. We'll That's heat it. Enough? Yeah, we'll have to cut some of this off because once we get down here, we're going to yeah, weld it to You this. probably want to err on the side of it being too long. Right. Too and then we can always grind it off if we have to. And then the other one's going to come in. Well, what we do is come in and just weld it to the other side. Right, of that. exactly. Go weld on. it here on this mm -hmm. side. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, so let me mark this one. This is a guesstimate where we want to bend it. Okay. So get the torches, uh, which okay. are out there, aren't they? And we'll try to get this so the heat doesn't wick away too fast. I don't think it will. We're going to do that burn and error. Yeah, we're just going to do it in here. Uh, you hot? Uh, we got a great, uh, we got some great weather came in. For July, we've had some, has much cloud cover. So I think just going through it the last few, few days. Okay, so we're getting there. I think I'll go ahead and just try to cold bend this a little more uh, and not mess with the heat. So let me see here. Hold on. Let me. This needs more of an arch, doesn't it? Well, mm -hmm. this needs to come down too, doesn't it? See if I can do it this way. We'll just put the hammer to it. This is so much easier to bend it when it's uh, hot. That's a lot rounder, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that looks okay. good. Yeah, I think that'll probably pretty much do it. Okay. Cool. Shoot, you know, you could wrap all the way around that, couldn't you? Uh, so, well, anyway, we're going with our original plan. So, I've got to have to try to guess how much of this to cut off. So I guess if I, let me see if I can go ahead and fit it to go through there, and that will tell us exactly what we need to cut off. Keep the right shape. It wants to go through there, all right. Oh, I got it stuck. Okay, let me look at it again. And see, it really needs to. That's got a little thinner than I thought it would, which it's not a big deal. Through the hole, I think. Yeah. Cool. Just pound it down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's through. So we got to get the right. Get in there. Shoot. Now all you got to do is put, a, put another just straight across. Across, yeah. You think? Oh. Or do you want to go with two? I don't know. I mean, you're the either. expert here. Yeah. Thank you. got to be pretty snug, I would think, right? Yeah. To stay on. I think what we'll do is just do that, bend that on around, and just weld a piece on. Well, we can't weld on the wood. That's the only right. We, but you can get it to where you want it to fit, and then just slide it on later, and then mash it down a little more. Do a little, some maybe tack welds. I do like that. Well, so that means we'll go ahead and cut these pieces. We need to bend that down a little more. Uh, see if we can do it without busting anything. Uh, we'll just do it in the vise. That's all we got to do. Oh, there you go. Just pinch it mm -hmm. in, yeah. Just go ahead. Anything that sticks up, we'll grind it off with the grind, bench grinder. Careful not to get your fingers on that. It's not real, real sharp, sharp. But... I love. I wish it was copper. I like that copper look. Mm-hmm. But steel is what you need. Yeah, we're getting there. So this will save a little time. You know, yeah, and way. some thrashing. Yeah. I don't have to mess with two pieces shaping them. It'll work perfectly. It's starting to hump up there a little bit. Sorry. 
Uh, so all we got to do is cut it straight across piece and weld it weld on. Weld it That's together. All we do. So it's right where the uh, you go ahead and cut it. Do you I'll think it's you like hacksaw. tight enough that it is going to stay on there? Well, that's what we'll do is we'll get it tight, a tight fit, then we'll crush it more. I see. Uh, if it doesn't fit, we'll cut a little off. Uh, so we want to cut this right on the white with the hacksaw. Okay, so we're going to cut that off. How do you get it to go yeah, straight? Yeah, it'll start. It doesn't have to be real straight. You know, It'll cut good, it's a good blade. It's got coarse teeth. Okay, see how what kind of alignment we can get on that. Okay. So once we get our weld, then we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we need the tomahawk, don't we? I didn't think of that. This one would be nice to have it around, though, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. No. Let's go ahead and crush this down some more. That's I know to do. Yeah. And then we'll shut this off. Just, uh, need to secure this. We're going to go ahead and uh, weld our bands. This just fell in our lap. You know, we got to messing with it. We said, man, we like this look. We originally were going to go with both band, one band on one side, but we think the one's long enough, it's almost all the way around, so we're just going to put a piece in it. And Okay, that should hold it. Famous last words. Okay, and we'll go ahead and go straight up with it. Hold that, Lee, honey. Just don't touch the rod, it will might burn you. It's only 20 right here. Okay, look at it. Okay, those are crappy welds, but I think they'll hold it together until we decide where we're, we're headed. Let me shut the machine off. Yes, I'm not. Well, let's go ahead and cut that off. See, we'll have to cut it off right there, won't we? Let me make sure those. Okay, so we're just going to finish up here. We're going to fill this in. We're going to grind it down, and then we'll have a little thing we can show you here that I think you'll appreciate. Ms. Ms. X Catapult. I'll have to peck at it. Okay, let's see what the other side looks like. Fill that in a little bit there. Okay. Let it cool for a second. Now I'll knock the slag off. Let me leave my helmet on. Okay. We're going to grind a little bit, then we'll go ahead and polish it. We'll stick the handle on it, and then we'll pull it. It's been going the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Battery, so, fla battery so, flashing, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's going, it's going. So we're down now to where we're just going to go ahead and, and put a shine on it. Uh, it's crazy. And then we're going to stick the handle on it. And we're going to retire for the night. We're all tired. I can't yeah, believe that's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Show once, show that side, then show the other side, yeah. so they can see the difference. The weld tracks on it. Yeah, but mostly the rust, right? Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. That's what's tracking the beat. <laughs> uh, so we'll put the handle on there. We'll see if we can get it to fit. Do you want the camera? Look at that. Oh, so that was slag. I don't understand my welds. We'll get her on there. Let me grind that off. I think it'll go through there when we can get it on there and get out of here.
going to go ahead and just plane this a little bit. The, the handle's a little bit, uh, got a bow to it, so this will kind of help it. If you've never tried planing as a therapy, I suggest it highly. <laughs> Recommend it highly. Uh, we can't go with a pole. Uh, we're going to have to go with a kind of a flat pole or an oval type because we want to preserve the two different colors. And we're going to, as soon as we get this shaped and sanded a little bit, we're going to take it in and put the sealer on it. Uh, we do have some issues here. I'm not sure how to, I'm going to exactly handle them. Uh, I do need just to do a little detail work here with the Dremel tool, which I'll uh, get that done a little later, probably tonight. Not sure how you're going to handle them. Yeah, oh, I get it. <laughs> mm -hmm, funny. And always remember, when you plane, there's a certain way the grain runs. If you go against that like this, it might plane a little harder. It might not, but you'll get chatter marks. Uh, it planes about the same either way. So this feels like the absolute best this way. Uh, we do have a twist in the blade, which could be repaired if we... Uh, of course, heated it and twisted it, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to leave it just as it is. Let me see. We got a place there. Probably want to take up a little bit. Just trying to leave the white. There's not much white on the uh, walnut left. Okay, this stands up here. Uh, we had to decide whether we were going to wedge this. Um, since it's mainly just going to be a display piece, we're not going to wedge it. Um, this just runs crooked. I don't think the blade's crooked. It's just the way it turned out. So, uh, I think we're ready to, to do the final sanding. So we're going to run the, uh, the orbital sander on it in just for a few minutes and she'll be ready to seal. Uh, maybe just a few other little cosmetic things, as I mentioned with the Dremel. Ooh, slippery like a baby's behind. <laughs> See, I'll get that. I can reach it very well. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Mm, it's 400 grit. Oh my gosh, I did not expect Do you that. want to do any filling on any of this or just leave it? I don't think yeah. we need to bother with that. Yeah, okay. Let me sand this. Uh, we're going to shot over here. Try to get a shadow off of it. Uh, come around this way. 